In the meantime, the cash for Clunker's program will come to an end on Monday night. The $3 billion rebate program became very popular very quickly. How has the program affected the largest retailer of cars and trucks in the U.S.? AutoNation says it's made more than 10,000 deals in cash for Clunker's program and says it's owed approximately $45 million still. Michael Maroney is president and chief operating officer of AutoNation, and we're pleased to have him join us live from his offices in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Michael, welcome. Hey, good afternoon, Lori. Thank you. You must be expecting a mad rush to your dealerships today and through the weekend. Uh, we are. We're actually cutting off the Cash for Clunkers program tonight so that we have enough time to get our deals in by Monday night. But it's been an unbelievable program. Uh, credit to the administration and Congress uh, for pushing it through. It's exactly what the industry needed. Uh, we think the best use of stimulus dollars ever. Can they extend it or would you like to see it extended? Because I imagine you're not going to have enough uh, supply to meet the demand here. Well, we'd love to see it extended, but we clearly hear uh, what the administration has said. The cutoff is clear, and uh, uh, we're going to have a mad rush tonight, and it's time to make a deal. What are you going to do with the spillover? Well, we'll continue to try and sell cars and, uh, and do what we do every day, but we think it's just been an incredible surge for the business. Uh, the selling rate in August could approach 12 million, uh, remembering that it was in the 9 millions the last six months. So it's, it's worked very well, and uh, we are still selling a lot of non-clunker cars and trucks, so it's working extremely well. You sound really optimistic, especially considering the reports that the Department of Transportation has been delayed in paying dealers for those clunkers. You told us that you are still waiting payment yourself. Um, what are your impressions of, uh, of that, and how much are you still owed? Well, Lori, first of all, I think no one could have anticipated the success of the program. Uh, we're owed in the neighborhood of $45 million. Uh, we're a very well-capitalized company. Certainly, we'd like to have the $45 million. We have no doubt that the federal government will process the applications and will pay us the money that's owed. Okay, so with the clunkers incentive running out, what more should be done either by the government or you, dealerships, to keep the car buying momentum alive? Well, I think there's continued work that needs to be done on the credit front. Uh, certainly, credit has improved some. Uh, subprime credit is almost non-existent. Near-prime credit is improving slightly. Uh, there needs to be more work there. Uh, obviously, the industries are, are the uh, inventories are somewhat depleted in the industry. So right now, the production's ramping up, and we're going to have a lot of fresh 2010 models. And I think it's uh, I think the industry's in for better days. So characterize business for AutoNation. What are your top-selling vehicles right now? Well, the cash for clunker success is really, you take vehicles like Ford Escape and Ford Focus, uh, Toyota Corolla, Toyota Camry, uh, Nissan Altima. Uh, there's been tremendous success. The imports have benefited slightly more than the domestics. About 65% has been from the high-volume imports. All right, there is some news today that uh, Jim Press, this is kind of a speaking of doorknobs topic. I'm switching gears, but some breaking news. Jim Press, Chrysler's going to leave at the end of the year. What are your thoughts on the, uh, the management and the auto industry and how they're handling the sort of post-bailout scene? Obviously, Cash for Clunkers, you said, has been a resounding success, and most people would agree with you. But there's a lot of other reorganization going on right now in the industry. Well, there is, and there's a new management team at Chrysler. Uh, obviously, it's too early to say uh, how they'll perform. I know that uh, Mike Jackson met with Sergio this week and was very impressed uh, with both his focus and determination. Uh, he has also met recently with the heads of General Motors and also we think they've got a good plan. They've got an excellent management team and we're confident that they'll be very successful going forward. Um, trimming down the brands, consolidating the dealer network, um, breaking some of the legacy agreements through bankruptcy, all of those were necessary and uh, certainly the industry looks better going forward than it does going backward. And do you have any concerns now post cash for clunkers? Well, I think, uh, you know, the question is how much pull ahead was there? Uh, the market before cash for clunkers was selling at about a 9.8 million rate, uh, and we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, so you've gone from 9.8 to a, almost a 12 million selling rate. We believe that there's non-clunker business that has also improved. Our overall traffic is up about 30 percent. Um, so we're still optimistic. And again, as the new models come in, I think people will be enthusiastic about them. Um, will there be a little bit of payback for cash for clunkers? I think there'll be some, uh, but we still think the overall industry is improving. Good place to leave it. Michael Maroney, President and Chief Operating Officer of AutoNation. We sure thank you for your time. Thank you, Laurie.